Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battleline video, and today we have some patch notes, we have my theories about GMK Godzilla coming to the game, and a thank you. So, I don't know if you guys are, are aware, if you guys pay attention to these kinds of things, and any YouTubers or not, but I do. And we hit 2,000 subscribers last night, so it was nice to wake up to 2,002 subs. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting this channel since day one, who stops by and watch the videos, even if you don't subscribe. I don't even know what the uh, view to subscribe ratio was like. I don't know how many of you are viewing this but not subscribed. I don't really care either. Um, I'm just happy to know that you guys are enjoying the videos. You guys are subscribing and any support, whether it be views or subscriptions, join the Discord, whatever, more than appreciated. I'm extremely happy, so even though, even though kind of like give you like a bland talk but they i just want to say thank you so much i'll do a stream we're, we're gonna be doing a stream for the 2000 uh subscriber celebration i don't know when it's gonna be my discord is in the loop on it though so if you want any more information on when that's gonna be head to the discord so you're not out of the loop but thank you actually thank you before we hit 2000 subs before uh this channel is a year old and before godzilla battle line is a year old so to me that's a pretty big deal so thank you so much for the support and let's uh get back to the rest of the video so what I want to talk about today, there are some issues that were fixed in the game. Actually, there's one issue that was fixed in the game. That's a lie, there's two. So, in the game, if you go to your special missions, I will pull it up, actually. You go to your special missions on the top, and you click on special whenever this loads. Come on. Special. Scroll down a little bit. Now you can see it says win three ranked matches with Bailante, win three ranked matches with Gigan. These are all as your leader. All of these challenges were hidden. And there's a lot of confusion in the community. Oh, to get the G material, you have to, you know, you have to do uh, all the all the leaders in order, or you have to do all this and all that, blah, blah, blah. The only one, like I said in the previous video, the only leader that you need to use to get the G material is Mecha King Ghidorah. If you didn't watch my short where I explained it, all you have to do is use Mecha King Ghidorah for that. All the other leaders are going to give you 300 coins for three wins, so that's 100 coins per win. In my opinion, I don't think that's worth it too much. If you just need some extra coins, though, it's not too bad. Just slot any of these guys as your leader, get 300 coins. I, I would almost consider it free coins at this point, but that's that. So what else is going on with the game? Kiryu's special move, Absolute Zero Cannon. It was doing 80% damage at the start of this season. They have fixed it to, to do 90% uh, like it's intended to. So if you're a Kiryu main, which not a lot of high rank players are, but low rank players definitely are. So low rank players, congrats. You guys are doing a lot more damage now than you were at the beginning of the month. So I hope you have fun with that one. And then next, this is a thing that I've been seeing on Facebook mostly a lot that people aren't really understanding too much. And that is that there's an issue right now in the game. It's not fixed yet, it doesn't seem like. But if the new character, the, uh, the new leaders, Mecha King Ghidorah, Godzilla uh, Ultima, and Fire Rodan are your leader, and you try to upgrade them. You know, you got enough shards to bring them, you know, from 5 to 6 or whatever, and they're in your leader slot, and you upgrade them, your game is going to crash. Huge issue, but can be circumvented by swapping them into your deck or putting them into your, like, bench area, right? Just make any other character a leader, and then upgrade them, and then put them back. So, very easy to get around the crash, but there's a crash nonetheless, so just got to look out for that. Next is a shop update, and we can take a look at it in the game, but I only bring it up here because I don't have this Fire Rodan pack available to me anymore. I bought it already uh, when it was first available, when Fire Rodan came out, oh my gosh, in August or September of last year, or, or maybe October. I think he was October 2021's unit, so I got this in October 2021, and if we take a look in the actual game... I don't have it. This offer's still there. But we have this Ultima Leader Pack, which you can also see on the screen behind it. This is so annoying because we also got this pack last week. We have now two packs for 4,800 gems that give you some of the best GMK posters there are. And the first pack didn't even have Mothra in it. It was Ultima, Kiryu, Rodan, and Mecha King Ghidorah, and this one is Jet Jaguar, Ultima, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. So I get being GMK themed and having Ultima and Mothra and Ghidorah, because it's still Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, but 
none of these three monsters were in the movie, or Jet Jaguar even mentioned in it, or Kiryu mentioned in it, or Rodan wasn't even mentioned in it, right? So it's the wrong Ghidorah, it's the wrong Godzilla, it's the wrong Mothra, but they're the two, like, favorite posters for GMK, literally in the background of all my videos and stuff. I have this poster. I have this physical poster from GMK. I love GMK. Why are they putting it in a pack like this? And not when a GMK monster comes out. Well, I have a belief. And I will get to the bottom of this. Let me take that off. Let me pull this up. Oh, let me take that other image off. This is the original vote poll. I posted this one on Twitter months ago. Trying to predict who would come next to the game. I was... As you can see, it aged pretty well. I called Mecha King Ghidorah in January and Varen in February when we got Gigan in January and Earth in February and then J Jaguar in March. So May, we got Mecha King Ghidorah, but that's besides the point. There's two Godzilla 2004s on this list. This one down here, it's supposed to say Godzilla 2001. This is GMK Godzilla. GMK Godzilla got 14 on the poll. Is he coming to the game? Is all of this... A tease for him? I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. These offers are very expensive, right? They are, they are not a typical offer that normal people are going to be buying, or that I would recommend people buy. This is like a whale offer, one hundred percent. I don't know why they would put these posters in these packs if it was not because GMK Godzilla wasn't coming anytime soon and they know that these posters are fan favorite posters and they want to kind of get these out of here. I know there's other GMK posters, but they literally use the two most well-known ones in these offers that not many people are going to buy and I believe that it's a, to entice players into buying these offers. I don't really understand why they would do it, and I don't expect GMK Godzilla to come to the game anytime soon, because like I said, he was so far down on the list, and now you can make the argument that Gigan 2004 was, you know, was right in front of him at 13th place, but he made it to the game, and then I would say, yeah, it's also the 50th anniversary of Gigan, right? Yeah, it is the 50th anniversary of Gigan, and so they put him into the game to celebrate that. I don't know, what, what would it be the anniversary for GMK, the 21st anniversary of GMK? This year, I don't think that warrants a, a celebration, but who knows? Who knows? Is GMK coming to the game? Any of the GMK monsters? Next patch? I don't think so. I think it's unlikely. Uh, can we see them in the future? I think, yeah, definitely. Any character on the polls, I think, is coming to the future. And it is worth noting that um, GMK Godzilla was not included on the second vote poll. He was one of the only units removed from this one. So, maybe they're gearing up for a GMK release over the summer. I don't know. I suspect that June's unit's probably Shin Godzilla or Destroya, not GMK, but now there's two GMK posters in the game. Maybe maybe we're going to get a, another uh, GMK character this month. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see, it doesn't look like that on the roadmap, but uh, maybe we'll get GMK soon. So, with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video because it's kind of a rant and a ramble, but... I'm going to end it on another thank you. So thank you to everyone who supported this channel. Everyone who's subscribed, viewed, donated, super chat, hang out on live streams, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, whatever it is that you do with this channel, however you interact. Thank you for being a part of, I guess, my journey in Godzilla Battle Line. So I appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.